Hey everyone, it is Miss Batty here, back with lesson three in our series on populations and resources. Today we are going to continue our investigations about what is occurring when substances change into something different. What you're going to need for today's lesson is a pencil or pen, some lined or blank paper to jot down some notes on, or if you have access to a Schoology page or a, a packet that goes with this lesson, this might be a good time to get that out. Something that's optional, but always encouraged, is to see if there's that person you can text or be on the phone with during this lesson, or maybe a family member around the house that you can check in with, share your ideas, ask questions, and see what they're thinking. Something that's also optional, but if you have access, would be that we are going to use the chemical reactions digital model today in Amplify. And I'll show you how to get there in just a moment, um, but if you do have access to this digital model in Amplify, it might be a good time to go ahead and open that up in a tab as well. So let's do a little recap of where we were at last time. In our last lesson, we did some investigations by mixing some different substances together. If you remember, we had things like salt and baking soda, vinegar, um, so we had sodium carbonate and calcium chloride, and we tested what happened when we mixed these different things together. Now, in some of our mixtures, we noticed that the result looked really different than the things that we started out with. And so we were thinking that this might be evidence that a chemical reaction had taken place. Now to remind you, a chemical reaction is where one or more starting substances change into one or more different substances. So it seemed like we had evidence that maybe this could be occurring. But as we know from our previous lesson, we probably need to take a closer look at the atomic and molecular level. Some words that you might want to know as we're going through our lesson today are that scientists have a way of talking about the before and after mixture um, substances. A reactant is a starting substance that is part of a chemical reaction. So those would be the things that I had at the beginning before I mix them together. We call something a product, and this is the ending substance that is made during a chemical reaction. So that would be if we had those two starting things or one thing and we mix them together and something new is made, that is our product. So for example here, uh, we can see that there is definitely something different um, being made when we mix these two things together because we see that the atomic structure has changed. That repeating group or uh, repeating atom has become different. Here we have calcium with some chlorine atoms, but here we have the chlorine attached to some sodium. So as you can see, we would consider these to be our reactants or the things that we started with. And then here, over here, we have some products. So if you recall in our previous lesson, when I mixed the solutions of calcium chloride and sodium carbonate together, it really seemed like they made something new. We went from having these two substances that were colorless, kind of cloudy liquids to this milky white liquid with some powder in the bottom. If this is a chemical reaction, then we would say that our reactants were the calcium chloride and the sodium carbonate solutions, and our products would be that milky white substance that we made. So today, as I mentioned in our last lesson, we are going to take a look at the atomic or molecular level of our first reaction, the sodium chloride or the sodium carbonate and the calcium chloride. To do that, we are going to use the digital model. Our focus here is how exactly do substances change into something different during a chemical reaction. So what we're going to be looking for is what are the atoms doing 
when these two substances are combined? And are we getting something new when these things are mixed together? We'll be able to tell by looking at the repeating atom groups that we see in the digital model.